Okay, here's how I um, was able to, uh, I guess, create um, the background here. And here I'm running a different slide, Joe, but it looks like I have Paley's Fire Dance on here. And what I'm doing is hitting print screen on the computer, and you can see I've got XP mode going to the background. So PRTSC screen. And then I'm going on my Windows 7 machine and doing a paste. And so there's my first picture. And then I go into select. And basically just highlighting that area that I want to make as a screensaver. And then hit crop. And then I'll just save that. And then I'll create a directory. We'll just call this screen savers. And we'll call this picture one. And then I'll go back to my XP mode. And I'm just kind of go through the slideshow. And well, I'll grab this one too. So again, PRT screen. Then I go back to my Windows Paint, do a paste. And it looks a little cumbersome, but you know, I was able to get through about, I don't know, maybe like 20 or 30 of them pretty quick. So here I highlighted it, crop, and then I'll pick save as, and I'll just call that number two. And we'll just grab another one more. Print screen. Next, yeah, so I can do a control V, does the same thing. And by the way, I'm just clicking on the screen and then repositioning it, hitting select, and trying to get it right in that upper left corner. And then crop. And then save as number three. So now I've got three pictures that I can use. And you can see I'm back on my Windows 7 machine and I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to right click and I believe personalize and then the background and I'm going to I'm just remember how to do this here. Browse Go to my computer, my C drive, screensavers, and then there are the three, and I'll do save images. And so there are the three, and then I'll tell it to just change it every just do 10 seconds here and I'll do a shuffle. Save changes. And then let's just kind of wait here. And perfect, that's it. Um, pretty easy to do. Um, you know, the resolution's not the greatest, but um, you know, we're talking about a program that's 20 years old, and um, hopefully that works. So, um, take care. Bye.